I was getting ready one morning when I took a look in the mirror and realized just how boring they are. I mean, I look at mirrors multiple times a day and I can't believe they're all just kind of the same. But then I had this idea. Remember that scene from right, Shrek? No, not the buttons. Oh my no, not that one. I'm talking about this one. It's the magic mirror with the talking head that answers your questions. And I've always wanted one of these. Magic mirror. So let's see if I can build the magic mirror that looks and works just like the one from the movie. Okay, so the mirror from the movie is actually a bit more complicated than I thought. To pull this project off, it has four requirements. It needs to respond to mirror mirror on the wall because... Mirror mirror on the wall. Is this not the most perfect kingdom well, of them all? Well, you know. It needs that cool smoke animation that reveals the head, like this. Third, it has to talk to you in real time. I want to be able to have full conversations without waiting 10 seconds for a response. And last, it needs to roast you a little bit, just like it does in the movie. These requirements in place, I think we can start the build. So, first things first, we need a mirror. If you didn't know, smart mirrors have been around for years, and they all work based on the same principle. If you take a piece of one-way mirror, wait, what's a one-way mirror? The funny thing about one-way mirrors is if you check out the Wikipedia, it says a one-way mirror, also called the two-way mirror, which makes no sense to me. Regardless, it's a piece of glass that's reflective on one side and transparent on the other. It reflects about 85% of light, and the other 15 gets to pass on through, but only if it's bright enough. And because this piece of glass was pretty expensive, I made this wooden frame that would allow the glass to slot right in and keep it protected. And now it's time for our first piece of magic, because all smart mirrors work with a hidden display behind the glass. This was just an old computer monitor I had. It fit perfectly inside the frame, so if you install everything right and flip it around, you shouldn't be able to see it at all. This turned out really cool, and anything I put on the screen just looked like it was floating. It was truly spectacular to look at, and the more I put on the screen, the more I realized how much this could be used for. It's way cooler than I thought. But all that was pretty short-lived because the more I used the screen, the more I found its quirks. Okay, so while testing this screen, I found a huge problem. If any light gets in through the back, the illusion is ruined. So I needed to figure out a way to seal up the back to keep light from getting through. And for that, I got out the biggest 3D printer in my shop. This is Elegoo's Orange Storm Giga, a printer so big I printed the back plate all in one go. And this would be our perfect seal to stop light from getting in through the back. This would attach perfectly to these brackets I already made. They just mount in all the corners and then the seal screws on. While we're using our biggest 3D printer, I think it's time we make this thing look like it's actually from Shrek. So I'm gonna print the most elegant frame possible. This took a really long time and watching it grow was super fun. And it wasn't long before we had this. So we just have to combine the two halves and to do that, we will sand down the edges and glue them together. And after a quick paint job in my garage, we had a mirror that looked like this. Look how big this is. It's huge! Now it's time for assembly. After mounting the frame, we just hung it on the wall, and we had the most majestic looking magic mirror I had ever seen. I mean, just look at this thing. Now that it actually looks like the magic mirror, we just gotta make it talk. And making a face look like it's talking was no easy task. Physically, I thought I could just move points in a model around, but that caused some cracking. After some quick research, I discovered blend shapes, which lets you rig a model and move all of its features. So apparently just moving the mouth up and down doesn't actually look like it's talking. It kind of hits this uncanny valley. And to solve this, we're gonna be using a technique that animators have been using for years. 
and it's called visine. Visemes are the shape your mouth makes when you say different syllables. String these together and it looks like you're talking. So I made this 3D model of the mask from the movie, and I spent way too long trying to get the mouth shapes for each visine. But this was all worth it in the end because once it was done, it looked like this. I am the magic mirror from far, far away. Would you like to play a game of who is the fairest of them all? Then we adjusted some lighting to make him look just like in the movie. This was some custom software I wrote so that I could tune everything to look how I wanted. And after adding random blink intervals, we had a floating Magic head that mirror. looked like Don't this. <laughs> but we still had one thing left, and that was to get him talking. If you're wondering how I got this working, it's just a Raspberry Pi. You may have seen it earlier when I was installing the display. A Raspberry Pi is just a small computer. If you plug it into a monitor, you have a whole operating system where you can access the internet. And that's the most important part. To get this project working, we're going to be using the same API on the Raspberry Pi as they do on the GPT phone app. Absolutely. That sounds like a solid plan. Basically, you're just tapping into the same API that powers the phone app, but you'll run it on the Raspberry Pi. That means all the conversational goodness is right there, and your magic mirror can chat just like the app does. Let me know if you need any more help as you go along. Now let's try it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who dare seek wisdom from the mirror? Step forth, my lord, and reveal thy question. The mirror awaits its chance to dazzle. Now that we've completed three of our requirements, let's put it all together and see if he acts like the movie. How do I look? I would say you're top five if there were three people in this room. Who is the fairest of them all? Not you, sweetie, but points for confidence. Who is the fairest of them all? You're the highlight of a crowd of one. Who is the fairest of them all? Are you still fishing for compliments? You might need a bigger net. Who is the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Looks like you're still the most persistent of them all. Welcome to the DreamWorks quiz, my lord. First question. Which DreamWorks film features a wise-cracking panda training to become a kung fu master? That's Kung Fu Panda. Spot on, my lord. Next up, which movie features a group of animals on a wild journey to rescue their home from a greedy corporation? Over the Hedge? You got it, my lord. Oh. Now for a twist. Which DreamWorks film has a bumbling ogre who finds love in a fairy tale land? That's gotta be Shrek. Correct again, my lord. You're on a roll. Last one. Which DreamWorks movie features a heroic fish named Oscar who dreams of becoming rich and famous? Uh, Finding Nemo? Close, but not quite. It's Shark Tale, my lord. You're doing great. This project was super fun to play with and looked so cool floating in my living room. And I finally had a magic mirror you could talk to whenever you wanted. But if you say goodbye, the magic mirror disappears and you're left with a regular old boring mirror. This project was super fun to build. And if you like projects like this, remember to subscribe. All the 3D files, code, and even a build manual can be found on our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Who is the fairest of them all? No contest, my lord. You reign supreme. Don't ever forget it. Etched in the heart of this mirror, my lord, 